Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up. Click the bell icon at the top of the page to get notified when I post a new video. Universal Channeling Channeling the Conscious Universe Mike Quincy, Channeling His Higher Self, March 6, 2020 It is the time for reconciliation, as you cannot ascend until you have forgiven those souls who have offended you. You must make peace with everyone who has hurt you in any way, and the sooner the better. It matters not whether they are one of the most evil souls living, as you do not help them or yourself if you continue to put up barriers against them. Life is something of a pantomime, except that you rightly take it very seriously. However, the fact remains that even the darkest of souls can turn to the light, and they are helped by those who can see the inner soul spark of light in them. No one is beyond redemption, and they could become fully lighted given the chance. You will find it difficult to get beyond your present dimension if you hold on to grudges against another soul. Forgiveness is a big factor in your life and it is best practiced whenever you feel that you have been wronged. Some are concerned that an aggressor will get away with their treatment of you, but realize that when their life is completed, they pass on as with all souls, and a review of their life takes place. It is then that the truth behind their problem is known, as only the truth can exist in such circumstances. So there is no avoiding an individual's responsibility, and neither is there a punishment. Understand that such a review is held in a truly amicable way and it is not so much to point out blame, but to enable true reasons to be understood, and hopefully avoid a repetition in any future life. There may be karma involved as sometimes there can be a situation that calls for future experiences to make good the errors that have taken place. As you may see it, no one gets away with negative action against another soul. So, ideas of revenge as a means of paying someone back are never justified or necessary. Being a loving caring soul calls for a very benevolent view of others and their life. However, putting others first does not rule out also covering for your own needs. You do not need to live a life in poverty to prove you are not selfish or out for self-aggrandizement. It is a matter of degree and doing things according to your ability and opportunities. You cannot be all things to all people but by always doing things with the best of intentions you will be acting according to your beliefs and spiritual understanding. Genuine spiritual help calls for nothing in return as the joy is in the giving. However, accepting thanks in whatever form it may take, allows the beneficiary to feel that they have acknowledged your kindness. Such actions help create a higher vibration and by example you encourage others to follow suit. At present, you live in a world where so many are desperate for some kind of help and it presents others with an opportunity to respond in a benevolent way. Some people believe that you get what you deserve, and are reluctant to help, but fail to understand that at times all souls have experienced the ups and downs of life's experiences. We realize that not all souls are in the same position to be able to help others, but sometimes even a few kind words of sympathy can lift another soul up. Truly, you cannot really understand another person's problems but helpful advice and a genuine sympathy can lift them up. Simply caring about other people and their well-being can help immensely, and those who lead a solitary life often lack the value of social contact. If everyone was to care about those needing such contact the general feeling of well-being would rise up. Caring for others is a natural part of a human's makeup, and ensures society does not neglect those in need. If mankind can expand the setup of help centers for those in need, you will have the basis of a caring society that could soon end the poverty that presently exists at some level in all countries. If the wealth of the world was spread more evenly, the standard of living would improve very quickly, and all could at least have their basic needs covered. If the intent is there to make things happen, you can be assured that you will get every help from our side of the veil. I leave you with love and blessings and may the light brighten your days and path to completion. This message comes through my higher self, my God self, and every soul has the same connection to God. In love and light. Mike Quincy. Website, treeofthegoldenlight.com